start, then it would have minus 15.5 meters per second downward. I know this from things we haven't talked about yet. Or you could just know it from like symmetry, right? Like if I, if I throw this up, and then, I mean, I try not to talk about throw up in here, but when I come back down, it's, it should be coming down with the same speed it left my hand, ignoring friction, blah, blah, blah. You know, usual disclaimer, boilerplate, boiler, boiler, boiler plate, no friction disclaimer. So you could do that, but then the, to figure out the time, you, I don't know how you're going to figure it out. I mean, you're still going to have to solve a quadratic equation here, so I think it's the same trouble. You might as well just write the equation of motion from the start and just solve this quadratic equation, right? So that, that will give you the time to the bottom, and then I think you can go from there. Does that, does that help? Okay. Yeah, just remember, if we can write down the equations carefully, just let the algebra do the work for you. I mean, yes, we can break up and do conceptual stuff too, but sometimes for a complicated problem like this, it's nice to just do, let the math work for you, yeah? Well, what do you think? Are we going to have class Thursday? What do you think the, odd, what do you think the odds are? Is it gonna, I think it's supposed to start raining Friday, though. I think we may still be fine Thursday. So most likely I'll see you Thursday. Thanks, guys.